Ja. The Lake Mills Plan Commission meeting of October 28, 2014 is called to order. I will proceed with roll call. Mr. Foster? Here. Mr. Holman? Ms. Lazarus? Here. Mr. Lynch? <coughs> Mr. Magnuson? Here. Mr. Schwark? Here. Mr. Pearson? Here. Right. Item number three, correction and or approval of the minutes September 23, 2014. I'll make a motion to approve. Is there a second? Second. Okay. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 All those opposed, same sign. Okay, the minutes are passed. Item number four, questions and public comment. The public may address the commission at this time regarding items on the agenda, unless the item is the subject of, of a public hearing. If your comments pertain to a public hearing, please hold your comments until the hearing. We do have one public hearing this evening. Item number five, the floodplain ordinance amendment. Public comment may also be made at this time on items that are not on the agenda if you have registered with the city clerk before the meeting. The state's open meeting law discourages action by the commission on items not listed on the agenda. Please keep your comments limited to three minutes. State your name and address when starting your comments. Also fill in out the sign-in sheet at the podium. Are there any public comments at this time? All right. All right, hearing none, we'll open number, item number five, public hearing, floodplain ordinance amendment. And we do have a memo from City Attorney Vicki Schmidt. So I think first, um, you know, we'll, we'll start, um, Ms. Schmidt with, and um, Mr. Wolf, with, with uh, you as you want to uh, address it and to um, provide an overview of um, what is in front of us. The floodplain ordinance is um, pretty much 100% the model floodplain ordinance from DNR. Uh, DNR makes it pretty attractive to adopt their model ordinance because the re approval process is much streamlined compared to trying to get any creativity in the language through to DNR and FEMA. Both FEMA and DNR have to approve our floodplain ordinance by early February and the approval process at those two agencies can be lengthy. So that's why I opted when I was given this task to just go ahead with the model ordinance. Um, in the memo, um, I gave you the cheat sheet that they gave me that says uh, you go to pay these different pages and make these insertions so that you wouldn't have to read through the 30-page document to figure out what did Vicki do to it. Um, there are five places in the, in the document where I had to add things such as the city's name. Um, the particular maps that are being uh, incorporated into it and the name of our county the name of the plan commission and um, I had to put in the amount for the penalties and uh, other than that we had no discretion on anything else if we wanted to get the model ordinance adopted okay all right um, very well uh, we do have ordinance uh, 1141 in front of us uh, the council because uh, this is a requirement uh, this is a FEMA requirement uh, the council already has um, done a first reading of this ordinance. And we have in front of us ordinance 1141, floodplain ordinance and MAP. And what this does is um, say that uh, the floodplain regulations currently in the existing Title 10, uh, which is the zoning ordinance, are hereby repealed and recreated through the adoption of the floodplain ordinance. The floodplain ordinance adopts floodplain regulations and official floodplain zoning and related maps. And so then the attached ordinance is incorporated herein by reference. And um, then second, um, the, uh, talks about the recodification that would occur once this is adopted. And we can, we can discuss uh, the two chapters later. Um, but that's in essence is what the uh, ordinance is in front of us. Um, is there anything further that the uh, staff wants to say for 
uh, to overview this um, ordinance? No, the, the existing ordinance that you have um, on the books and the one that we kind of updated in the updated zoning code um, was the model language provided at that time by the state. Right. Uh, so this is really just an update to that. And as Ms. Lazara mm -hmm. said, we'll have to reorganize it a little bit to fit into your, um, to the updated uh, zoning code. Well, mm -hmm. presuming that gets adopted after its third reading. Okay. All right, the public hearing is open. This is the public hearing on the floodplain ordinance amendment. If anyone wishes to speak um, regarding this um, amendment, then uh, please step up to the podium and sign in your name and address, and then also for the, uh, for the uh, clerk, then also um, uh, say your name and address before you start your remarks. Would anyone like to speak at this time? If none of you get up, I'm going to close the public hearing. Okay. All right. All right. All right. In that case, we close the public hearing and we move to item number six discussion recommendation ordinance 1141 floodplain ordinance and map. Um, just so I could um, piece things together in my mind better. Um, what I handed out to each of you is uh, a marked up copy of, of the same that you have. But I wanted to see, um, I wanted to compare it to the proposed uh, zoning ordinance that we already have um, prepared. And then what you see alongside are um, the sections uh, that already, either they already exist in the proposed ordinance or they, um, they match up with that section, but a revision is necessary to bring it up to the new standards. So that's, uh, or in some cases, there is new language altogether. So, uh, but the vast majority of this is already um, part of the proposed zoning ordinance. And, and mainly we're looking at uh, chapters seven and nine. Um, and also, because of the referencing done for how the uh, Plan Commission and Board of Zoning Appeals uh, review things, there's also also some uh, reference to Title II of the, of the Municipal Code. And of course, because there's definitions, that also affects Chapter 1 of the proposed ordinance. So. That's what we have in front of us, and you can see that um, most of this already exists in the proposed ordinance. Um, any, any comments, uh, staff, or questions from uh, commissioners? So I'm just trying to make sense of what we're trying to do here because it sounds like we have a lot of this in, our, in it already and basically what we're going to do is pull it out and make it its own standing um, ordinance and not have this in our zoning anymore oh no 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 not, no. no we're gonna we're gonna integrate this what okay so you're asking what, what the city attorney put together was the model language kind of in its entirety mm -hmm. um, as it should be kind of adopted What's going to happen is because this is just a quirky time, yeah. you're reading away from adopting the updated zoning code. Um, we have broken out the, the sections of what would be this, this document um, by the definitions go in one area. The, the body of the text, the regulatory component goes in um, Title 10, uh, Chapter 7. And then anything related with procedures or administration is in um, Title 10, Chapter 9. Um, so what we're going to do with this then is once this comes to the council, af hopefully after we pass. Yes. You're, then we're going to ask for this to be adopted. For this to be, well, adopted and inserted in place of the existing sections, which okay. is what Ms. Lazarus has put into okay. the column. That's, it just didn't really yes. <laughs> say it here. It says that it's going to be codified without substantive yeah. change. Okay. Yes. Uh, that was the only way I could really um, interact with the yeah. DNR. They want 
their model ordinance. They don't want to look through all of our Title X to try to find the pieces. So they allowed me to say, okay, we're going to so codify we're gonna it later. we're going to pass this. Uh-huh, because this has to be done earlier. To the, yeah. to mm -hmm. the DNR, and then we'll incorporate this into our we're whatever. Formatting. Yes. Okay. Yeah, gotcha. I'll give it to Dustin since uh, yeah. he's much gotcha. more familiar with it than I am. That makes sense. Yeah. Thank you. There, maybe we should do a little bit of background. This dates back to the 2008 floods when the Jefferson County then got FEMA yes. to actually do flood mapping of Jefferson County. And probably what in 2012, late 2012, we got our first run by um, on what the new flood maps would be. And we filed uh, an amendment uh, on that. And um, we had to agree, we got our, our amendment approved as long as we agreed to take over the drainage district and control that as a flood storage area. Mm -hmm. um, and then it, it also tied in, although not being done for the same reasons, it also ended up tying into the uh, flood hazard mapping and how those, the floodplain and the, and the um, was affected by the <coughs> dam failure analysis. And so they all came together so that we ended up having to make several proposals to the DNR in order to to uh, be able to control the floodplain and, and um, make some of the issues that we've been working on for the last several years work. And so the council has spent um, a lot of time and money on working with the DNR and FEMA and the county uh, to be able to make uh, this po proposal final. So There were areas that the city had a fair amount of engineering for and knew was not in the floodplain. Yep. And so we wanted to make sure that DNR had that on its maps because that obviously affects mm -hmm. private property owners and insurance requirements and, and such. So. so when when the final uh, floodplain map came out, how many properties were removed? Boy. Uh, well, it had gone from like uh, 28 down to I think seven. Okay, and that was that was our recommendation, and then they approved that recommendation. Yes. Okay. Um, there were. Um, Strand went out and certified that enough right. buildings were, yeah. that their foundations the, the were one, their, yeah. their elevation was above the flood elevation. There were, there were three that we had kind of, based on the flood elevation, probably would have come out, uh, those, these buildings up here at the corner. Yep. But the DNR came out and surveyed those personally because they wanted to verify that the foundations weren't in the ordinary high water mark. And when they found they were, then they got pushed back in. Okay. So even though we filed our amendment, the DNR filed their own amendment. And so the, those two combined to end up with what we have now. And yeah, the maps went final in August. And so now we have to adopt our floodplain ordinance. So then we're going to look at this today based on the notes that you have and say we recommend that the council approves this and then we'll work it later into our uh, title 10 yeah yeah that that once um once title 10 the proposed title 10 is um is passed and then this is also passed then um dustin would be weaving this into the proposed because then both would have been passed and so then it would be merged into this, um, the parts that have to be. Yep. So you're not there. recommending, I, I didn't notice in here anywhere, you're not recommending taking anything out, you're just recommending taking some of the language from here and making sure it's also in ours. Yeah, and, and, and okay. that, that's what um, is in front of us in Ordinance 1141. Um, the only thing I would, I would recommend um, to recommend to the council um, passage of Ordinance 1141, but instead of um, the way Section 2 reads now, because um, this really does affect Chapter 1, Introduction and Definitions, Chapter 7, Natural Resource Protection Regulations, and Chapter 9, Zoning Procedure and Administration, I, I would just say maybe if that could be uh, written so it just says um, on the second line, without substantive change as part of the proposed Title 10, 
and and then you wouldn't have to list all the chapters. Oh, okay, I understand. It just uh, you, we're not being redundant here then. When we're right. Right, right. Yeah, that way we don't have to say we don't have as part of chapter one, the introduction is part of chapter seven, this and that as part of nine, or you know. So if we just say the proposed title ten, I think that would be. I think that would take care of it. I think so too. Okay. So. Okay. Um, if I just want to make sure I understood what was in front of me. Thanks. Well, that's why I marked it up so I could understand. Uh, you did a great job. Well, thank you. <laughs> okay. Um, does anyone wish to make a motion concerning uh, a, a recommendation from the plan commission on this uh, ordinance? To adopt it? Does anyone, do, is any, does anyone want yeah. to make a motion recommending a, uh, approval of this ordinance? I'll like make the, a motion to approve it. Second. Yeah, the marked up version is sort of just for our purposes. Right. It'll help same. Dustin weave it in. Um, DNR would be totally confused if they saw the oh, marked well, up version. Oh, of course they would, yeah. yeah. They, they have, they have, to, they have to see their what, version. What you gave us, yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, then certainly they'd have to have that. Yeah, I I wouldn't. Yeah, I wouldn't give them this. No, no. no. <laughs> so okay. They're confused enough. All right, so it's been moved and seconded to <coughs> recommend uh, that the city council uh, adopt ordinance eleven forty one. Um, maybe just uh, edit edited uh, edited as to section two to only um, refer to uh, the proposed title ten. Um, any further discussion? Although hearing none, we'll just go ahead with roll call vote. Ms. Lazarus? Aye. Mr. Magnuson? Aye. Mr. Schwark? Aye. Mr. Pearson? Aye. Mr. Foster? Aye. Okay. Right. I'm number seven is public engagement, uh, engaging youth, uh, fall of 2010. Um, Mr. Schwark, is, is there anything further that you want to report on? That? I actually had a long talk with uh, Pamela Strike, and uh, she had discussions with the junior optimist uh, group at the high school. Um, and she had a particular person in mind who has actually just uh, really gone is very excited about it. So the next step I'm assuming would be uh, if I can get a hold of Peter Lynch to have Peter figure out uh, what roles need to be played by the students and what scenario are we giving them to, okay. to, to work out and, uh, and then uh, present that to them and, and let them work, it, uh, work something up. And then I guess we would have a mock mm -hmm. uh, session. Okay, that sounds great. So they're, they're pretty excited about it, and so uh, it's now Peter's move. It's in his court, though he doesn't know it yet. So. Oh, okay, okay. I, I got his phone number tonight, so I'll, I'll give him a call. Okay. Well, that sounds wonderful. Okay. All right. That takes us to item number eight, recommendations for future agendas. Um, but first, um, our next uh, regular meeting is Tuesday, November 25. And of course, and it's a couple of days before Thanksgiving. Are there um, conflicts with attending that meeting? I do. Okay. Any any others? Okay. I, I guess I should ask staff. Is there anything anything coming up in November? Uh, not that I know of. Okay. You, well, unless there's a amendment or unless something. Unless it <laughs> might not be an issue. Vacation. Um, at this time, no, but. In a couple of weeks, that may no, change. No, I'll be here. Okay, all right. Yeah. I'll be on Mr. Pearson, are you free the, the Tuesday? Okay. All right. All right. Well, it sounds like we we would possibly have enough people here. I'll be here. I won't leave until Wednesday. So, all right, all right. And then, um, any any other uh, anything else about? Oh, sir. Yes. I just Mr. wanted Wolf. to encourage. Commissioners to uh, reach out to um, council members to uh, adopt the upcoming zoning code and such at the next 
next meeting? Yeah. On the on the fourth, because that'll be your final reading. Yeah, the fourth. So, uh huh. I know that uh, Pam and Wayne were at the last meeting, and obviously Mr. Foster. Mm -hmm. Okay. And it was it's always nice for the council to hear from commissioners. I love hearing from anybody. So <laughs> nobody calls me. So oh. I feel lonely. Oh. Just call me and say, hey, how was your day? <laughs> I'll have a computer <laughs> generated call at about right. 2 in the morning for you. How's no that? problem. <laughs> okay. All right. Anything further under item number eight? Okay. All right. If not, we're to item number nine, adjournment. I move to adjourn. Okay. I so, second. And, so moved and seconded to adjourn. Any discussion on the matter? Fine. All right. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Same sign. We're adjourned.